to some, angels to others. What is up, psychos? I'm IDD. Welcome back to another Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game video. Today we have some rather interesting stuff to talk about. There has been an achievement list for the game that came out through this Xbox Game Pass uh, website that lists the achievements. I don't know if it's a full on leak or if this was supposed to be posted. The achievement list has some really cool things inside of it. So I wanted to take a look at it, break down and talk about it with you guys. But before we get into all that, I do want to put a huge disclaimer. OK, the nice people over at Dunn have made it very, very clear that this achievement list is 100 percent for testing purposes only and should not be considered to be in the final game. So everything we read here today, obviously, let's take it with a grain of salt and not expect it to be in the final product. However, there are some pretty cool things in here. There's even some things that we see in the gameplay trailer that's listed in this achievement list. So I don't think it's completely unrealistic of us to use this as a general idea to see where their headspace is at in the current development. Now there are 50 achievements here and I just wanna go through them and just talk about them a little bit. The first one being Purge, using the pain is nothing ability, Purge X poison effects. So there's a lot of mentions of poison effects. It sounds like there's a possible ability that the killers have to poison certain weapons that our survivors can pick up. And we'll talk about that more as we go. The second one being totally Texas, reach uh, player level X. The next one being Texas through and through reach level X with all characters. We have perking up, start a match with fully leveled up ability and three level three perks equipped. We get mention of abilities and perks. We know that the game is going to have a huge perk system that is important to the gameplay itself. They've mentioned this many times. So seeing this in the achievement list just adds to that. We have welcome to the family, which is execute your first victim. So what I saw from the gameplay trailer, I don't think this is going to be like F13 with like grab kills where Leatherface or the family members can grab you. I think it's going to lean a little bit more towards like DBD where you can possibly get like three attacks and then an execution can trigger. We have the serial killer execute X victims in total. Mine all mine execute all four victims in a single match. That'll be interesting. He was the greatest ever feed grandpa Ed's times in total. Now there's been a lot of talk about what role that grandpa plays in the game. He is mentioned a few times here. Obviously this is nothing solid and it's all just possibilities here, but it is interesting to think that grandpa does have a, a main role in the game. They say feed him here, which I don't really know how it's going to work gameplay wise. Cause I know how it works in the movies, but we have first blood execute the first victim in the match. Pretty simple. Get out of there. Drag et victims from inside hiding objects. So we saw this in the gameplay trailer as well. Hiding is going to be a big part of TCM. You see, uh, I believe it was Leatherface dragging someone out of like the freezer, which leads us to so close. Kill a victim within et meters of an exit in any level. That one's pretty interesting. Last victim standing. As last victim standing survive for et minutes and escape in a single match. Another pretty interesting one. And then we have the lucky one, escape 100 times. We have shush, which is as a victim, escape a level without making any noise. Another very interesting one because we saw in the gameplay trailer where you were able to knock into the bones. This is something that early on, a lot of the community has talked about was the noise. We got the, uh, the chicken in the cage that we thought may be able to alert people. We thought that grandpa might alert people. The bones may alert people. So escaping without making any noise, I think adds to that a little bit. Bring it on says win a certain amount of close encounters as a victim in total. Now I'm not too sure how the close encounters are going to work, but we did see in the gameplay trailer where there was one character who was hiding just around the corner while a family member was killing another character, which leads us to fighting bats successfully perform X sneak attacks against family members in total. Now this one, I see a lot of conversation going around because combat is a huge conversation piece in TCM in, in, in general, because, because in Friday 13th, the game, obviously everyone loved the combat that the game had, and they were hoping that we would see it in TCM. And it looks like we weren't going to see it. We were told that combat was a last ditch effort to survive. And then we have this test achievement, possibly pointing towards sneak attacks towards the family members being in the game. I wonder how that would work if it's something like pushing the family members down the stairs when you sneak behind them or something like that. This whole list is just very cool to just talk about in general. So at very least, uh, again, disclaimer, we might not see any of this in the game, but I do think it could lead to some pretty fun conversations in the comments. We have team player, which is just heal your teammates in total sneak attack. All family members in a single match of theirs. Another mention of sneak attack possibly being in the game. Escape down the driveway 
after jumping out the family house front window. So we've seen both of that in the gameplay trailer, jumping out the, front, the window and escaping down the driveway. But there's been a lot of talks about how escapes work in TCM. Making it to the driveway is one of them. If you get there, maybe it, it triggers a cutscene or something like that. We have fully focused. Use the focus ability to instantly unlock X doors in total. That one, I just don't even know what to think about. A focus ability that could instantly unlock doors. I don't know about that one. I'd love to hear what you guys think. And then we have safe and secure. Add extra lots to doors in total. We did see that in the gameplay trailer. There's this big red lot he was putting on the door, uh, shutting off areas. That's just terrifying. Imagine you're just running up the stairs, running down a hallway, trying to get away from Leatherface and a door is locked. Like that would suck. Successfully spot victims in total. Um, catch a total of X victims in traps. Okay. I don't think we saw anything about traps. I wonder what that would be like. I'm coming for you as a hitchhiker. Use a sidle, a bolt hole and a ladder in a single match. So I had to Google these because I didn't even know what it meant. But a sidle is is a way of like sneak walking, typically sideways. A bolt hole is a place to hide uh, or hiding spot. And then I'm not sure how they're using a ladder uh, in that context. So I'm not really too sure what to think of that one. If you have any thoughts, let me know down below. This is a really cool one analyzing et victims footprints in total so the idea that there's possibly an ability in the game where the killers could analyze footprints i think that's a pretty interesting one can't keep me out successfully barge open a total of et's latch doors so locking doors seems like it's going to be a big part of the game not just because it's achievement list, because again, disclaimer, this may not even be in the final game, uh, but because we saw it in the gameplay trailer as well, which leads us to undetectable. Use the ultimate escape ability to reduce damage X amount of times. Dog will hunt as Leatherface destroy X objects with your chainsaw, a blocker, a bolt hole, and a door. So again, pointing back to that, that locking of door mechanic in the game where I think that as survivors, we can go into a room or a hiding space or whatever, and we can lock it up. And I think maybe Leatherface is the only one who can cut it down and get in there. Hung up on you, execute Etz victims in total on the gallows as Leatherface. I don't think we saw anything in the gameplay trailer that leads to that. Uh, we have the shoulder barge and stun family members. So that's another interesting possibility of fighting back in TCM. A shoulder barge, you know, you just hit him with your shoulder, stun the family member for a certain amount of time, and then you can run away. I would imagine if this was in the final product, it would only work on the cook and the hitchhiker and other family members. I don't think we're out here shoulder checking Leatherface. That would end pretty bad for us. And then we have don't touch poison X victim pickups, which are tools, shards, and health items. So this is what I was talking about uh, previously about the poison idea. There may be a possibility of the family members being able to trap the the items that the, the survivors could pick up, which they label here as tools, shards, and health items. And then we have powder burns, which is confused two or more victims. I don't know what that means. <laughs> all knowing, uh, track all family members in a single mat. You spelt champagne wrong. As a family member, kill a victim in under 30 seconds from start of the match. Okay, that's a crazy one. <laughs> Make grandpa proud, achieve a perfect family win, killing all victims on each map. I think these kind of achievements are pretty fun and harmless. I like it. Escape artist, achieve a perfect win. All victims escape on each map. Uh, we have leaving home, escape using each exit on the family house. Out of gas, escape using each exit on the gas station. And then again, off to the market, escape using each exit on the slaughterhouse. The saw is family, the classic. Reach family bond to maximum and keep it there the whole level. Family bond. I wonder how something like that could work. The fixer during a single match stop the generators, fix the fuse bots, and open the pressure valve. So, as far as escape goes, a little bit that we've seen in the trailer of one of the characters that looked like they were turning on something, some sort of gate, uh, and then we saw these doors as well in the gameplay. Um, and then this is all we have as far as escape goes, which says stops the generator, it's the fuse box and open the pressure valve. 
I like the idea. Again, if if we see this in the final product, that would be pretty cool to have uh, each map have more than one escape that have different objectives to complete. It gives us a, a lot of reason to, to, to move around and nowhere left to hide as a victim, hide in a freezer, locker and wardrobe, trunk and car trunk. So we did see some of the hiding spots in the gameplay. Uh, we have doing well, jump down a well, X times in total. I don't know what that's about. We have respect a character's unlock tree after reaching maximum level, running, jumping, climbing trees, spend the first points in the unlock tree. So again, we know that the, the perk system, the unlock system, all that stuff is going to be a big part of this game. Uh, behind the curtain, get your first unlockable. The executioner, use all family executions in a public match. Tread softly, avoid being detected by grandpa. Again, we have another potential possibility of grandpa playing a big role in the game. They mentioned on this list feeding him as well as him being able to detect people. So there's a chance that we could see that in the final product. And then what will be left of you play uh, 1,973 public matches. A lot of interesting concepts is what we'll call it. Because again, all of this could not be in the final product. It's just for testing. Like they said, I just think it was a interesting idea for us to break through this and look through it and see what made sense, what doesn't, what could actually work. I could be more hyped for this game. And it's so fun talking to you guys down below in the comments. So if you enjoyed this video, Make sure to slash that like button. If you like what I do here, you want to support, join Slasher Game, get early access to videos here on the channel. And boys, we're, we're playing the Cory right now. One of the coolest horror games that's come out in recent time. Go watch it on the channel. Give some love. I want to see you over there. And uh, that's pretty much it. Till then, don't do drugs. Don't have sets. And yeah, don't die.